In this lecture, I will explain working of biased clamper circuit. Like clipper circuit, we can also bias the clamper circuit. We use biasing in clamper circuit to obtain the additional voltage swing. We use biasing in clamper circuit to obtain the additional voltage swing. I will explain biased clamper circuit by the help of one example. And in this example, in this example, we have to sketch the output waveform of the circuit shown in the figure. This is the circuit and this circuit is biased clamper circuit because we have additional DC voltage source in this circuit. Because of this DC voltage source equal to 2 volts, we have additional voltage swing that we will see in the output waveform. VI is the input voltage, VO is the output voltage and I will analyze this circuit for the first half cycle from 0 to T by 2, from 0 to T by 2. You can see input voltage VI is 10 volts. Input voltage VI is 10 volts for the first half cycle and it is positive. So plus minus is the polarity of VI. This terminal is positive. This terminal is negative. Direction of current is clockwise which is similar to the direction of arrow in the diode symbol. So the input voltage will forward bias the diode D but this 2 volt additional DC voltage source will reverse bias the diode D. VI is greater than 2 volts because it is equal to 10 volts. So this diode is finally forward biased. I will replace it. I will replace it with its equivalent model. I am considering the case of ideal diode. So we have short circuit as the equivalent model and output voltage VO is simply equal to 2 volts. Output voltage VO is simply equal to 2 volts. Now I will calculate the voltage across the capacitor C. Let's say it is VC. This plate is connected to the positive terminal so it will have positive charge on it. This plate is connected to the negative terminal so it will have negative charge on it. So we have VI plus of VI minus VC minus VC minus of 2 volts minus of 2 volts equal to 0. This is what we have from the Kirchhoff's voltage law. So VC is simply equal to VI minus 2 volts. VI is equal to 10 volts. So VC is equal to 8 volts. This is what we have in the first half cycle. The capacitor is now charged with 8 volts. Now I will analyze this circuit for the next half cycle from T by 2 to T. Let's calculate the value of output voltage in the second half cycle. Input voltage is equal to minus 10 volts. Input voltage VI is equal to minus 10 volts. So I have polarity like this minus plus. Now the input voltage is also reverse biasing the diode D. This 2 volt supply was already reverse biasing the diode D. So diode D will remain off in the second half cycle and I will calculate the output voltage VO by using the Kirchhoff's voltage law. The direction of current will also change. It will now flow in anti-clockwise direction. I will move along with the direction of current and we will calculate the output voltage VO. Plus of VI, plus of VI, plus of VO, plus of VO. Then we have plus of VC, plus of VC equal to 0. So output voltage VO is simply equal to minus VI minus VC. Minus VI is equal to minus 10 volts. So VO is equal to minus 10 volts. VC is equal to 8 volts. So we have minus 8 volts. So finally the output voltage is equal to minus 18 volts. Now we have the value of output voltage for the first half cycle and for the second half cycle. So we can easily plot the output waveform. From 0 to T by 2, the output voltage is equal to 2 volts. So the plot will look like this. This is 2 volts. And from T by 2 to T, the output voltage is equal to minus 18 volts. This is minus 18 volts. So we have plot like this in the second half cycle. And you can see we have additional swing by using the DC supply. 
This is all for this lecture. In the next lecture, we will solve one example based on clamper circuit and I will try to cover everything that we have studied in clamper circuit in that particular example. So see you in the next lecture.